A helicopter can fly in any direction from hovering position. Unlike a fixed-wing aircraft it can even fly in reverse direction. Or it can fly to the right side just by moving cyclic control to the right. Or similarly to the other side to the left without turning. And a helicopter can fly forward without any additional thrust. So how does it work? Let's try to understand it with simple animation. This is the main rotor system makes a helicopter fly in the air. It is powered by engine and gearbox transmission unit. On top, rotor wings are attached to the shaft. These rotor wings have an airfoil shape, similar to a fixed wing aircraft. When an airplane moves forward using propeller thrust or jet thrust, relative airflow happens in backward direction around the airfoil shaped wings. On top side of the wing, air flows faster than the bottom side due to this airfoil design. As per Bernoulli's principle high pressure zone develops at bottom side, and low pressure zone on top side of the wings. This generates lift force to make it fly in the air. But in case of a helicopter main rotor blades primarily rotate instead of moving forward. Thus rotational relative wind flows parallel in opposite direction of rotor's plane rotation, and lift force develops in a similar way by the rotor wings. Total lift force works upward against the weight of helicopter and gravity. So net lift force makes a helicopter hover in the air. But to make a helicopter fly forward, it requires force in forward direction. This can be achieved if total lift force acts slightly tilted forward then its vertical lift component will help it to hover in the air against gravity. And horizontal force component will make the helicopter fly forward. So instead of spinning on horizontal plane, rotor wings need to spin like this, slightly tilted forward. This is achieved with a complex mechanical system. Here you can see, rotor hub is connected with main rotor shaft and rotor blades are connected via blade grips. So wing blades rotate along with the shaft. Interestingly wing blades have other motions too. It can flap up and down due to this teeter hinge. And both wing blades angle can be changed. Wing angle change and flapping is possible while rotating with the shaft. This is done by this following mechanical setup. This bottom swashplate is linked with three or more actuators. These actuators can tilt this swashplate in various way, but this bottom swashplate's outer part does not spin. And the upper swashplate is assembled with the inner part, so this part is free to spin and also can tilt along with the bottom swashplate. This drive link connects upper swashplate with the main rotor shaft. So upper swashplate spins at the same speed of the wing blades and the shaft. Most importantly upper swashplate can tilt while spinning. This motion is very important to control wing blades angle. These pitch links connect wing blades with upper swashplate. So when upper swashplate tilts along with the bottom swashplate, wing blade angle changes too. When bottom swashplate is tilted at one side, both wing blades incidence angle will be changing while rotating. At one position it will be high and in opposite side it will be low. This is how variable wing incidence angle is achieved with the help of swashplate mechanism. So, how a helicopter fly forward tweaking the swashplate? At normal position both blades incidence angle remains same. Generated lift forces are same at all positions. But when pilot gently pushes cyclic stick forward, actuators make both swashplates tilt at one side, which results a variable wing blade angle in every 360 degree rotation. For these counterclockwise rotating wings, blade angle becomes minimum at right side, so generated force will be minimum at this position. Simultaneously at left side due to high angle, angle of attack will be high, so generated lift force increases. These situations occur again and again with every rotation of the wing blades. This develops uneven lift in rotor plane. 
Practically, when a wing blade experiences high force on left side, the blade tries to flap up using teeter hinge, and wing blade upward deflection starts from normal rotor plane. Actually maximum upward deflection occurs at backside due to gyroscopic precession. Simultaneously at right side of the helicopter, due to less force wing blade flaps down and maximum downward deflection occurs at front. Previously rotor wings were rotating on horizontal plane, now wings tip path plane tilts forward. This develops a forward thrust, which allows a helicopter fly forward. To reduce forward flying speed, or to fly in backward, pilot applies aft cyclic. So due to changes in swashplate tilt position, now a wing blade angle becomes low at left hand side position. Due to less generated lift, wing starts flapping downward. And wing tip reaches to lowest position at back side. Again when a wing reaches to right side of the helicopter, wing angle increases to maximum. So due to more lift, wing starts flapping upward. And wing tip reaches to highest position at front. Apparently now the rotor wing's tip path plane tilts backward. So total generated force points at this direction. So helicopter gets reverse thrust to fly backward. Pushing cyclic stick to the right side changes swashplate tilt angle. Now wing blade angle becomes maximum at front, so with rotation, maximum upward deflection occurs at at left of the helicopter. And when this wing blade reaches at back, wing angle becomes low and maximum downward wing deflection occurs at right of the helicopter. Now wing tip path plane tilts right side of the helicopter and helicopter gets roll sway motion to the right. Similarly to roll the helicopter towards left, cyclic stick is moved to the left side. Now swashplate tilt position results high angle of attack at backside, so generated lift force will be high. Simultaneously when a wing blade reaches front, angle of attack becomes low, so here generated lift force is low. From gyroscopic effect perspective high and low lift will develop a torque on the rotor disc. Here the direction of torque is towards left side of the helicopter. And the wing blades are rotating in counterclockwise direction, so direction of angular momentum is upward. Due to gyroscopic precession angular momentum will try to follow the direction of torque. And maximum wing deflection occurs 90 degrees later and rotor disc tilts to the left side, which also makes the helicopter roll to the left. So, cyclic sticks forward aft left right motion alters wing blade angle with every single rotation using swashplate mechanism, thus changes at lift force at different positions makes the rotor disc tilt one side. This way horizontal force component develops from total generated lift. And a helicopter able to fly forward, reverse, left and right. Besides cyclic control there are two more important control systems are present in a helicopter. This is a collective control lever. When it is raised or lowered, all main rotor blades angle increase or decrease together. Increased blade angle develops high angle of attack. So more lift force develops its same rotor speed. Conversely when blade angle reduces, Upcoming airflow generally develops low angle of attack, so generated lift force drops at same rotor RPM. So it allows a helicopter to move up or down just by changing main rotor wing blade's angle of attack. These anti-torque pedals are used to control heading direction of a helicopter. Here main rotor blades are rotating in counterclockwise direction. As a result a torque in opposite direction develops due to power transmission to main rotor blades. This torque tries to spin the total helicopter in clockwise direction, but tail rotor cancels this motion. This helicopter is fitted with a fenestrin type tail rotor. Fenestrin blades motion pushes air towards left side, thus a rightward thrust develops and it keeps helicopter steady. Now torque effect and tail rotor thrust are balanced. But when right pedal is pushed forward, all tail rotor blades pitch angle reduces, thus generated tail thrust drops. And due to overpowering torque effect, 
helicopter starts spinning to its right side. In opposite, when left pedal is pushed forward, all tail rotor blades positive pitch angle increase. So tail rotor thrust increases. And due to overpowering thrust effect helicopter starts turning towards left side. So, anti-torque pedals, collective pitch control lever and cyclic stick allows a helicopter to fly in any direction. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.